Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, late yesterday in my region, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview builds. And once again, I think it's now two weeks in a row, we have received the same features and fixes for both the dev and beta channel. So, the two builds are basically a copy of one another. So, I'm just going to combine everything into this one video because very similar things going on. Now, first of all, the new features are once again for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft is now focusing quite a lot um, on those Copilot Plus PCs, like it or not. And the first is Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out two new text actions in Click To Do. And this is obviously an AR feature that's a part of the recall feature. And the first is a practice in reading coach where Microsoft says you would then select the text recognized by click to do on your screen, choose the practice in reading coach action, and then read the text out loud. The reading coach Microsoft says provides feedback and guides you on where to make improvements. And the next, as we can see, is read with immersive reader. This feature, Microsoft says, displays recognized text in a distraction-free environment, allowing you to focus on reading. They mentioned that Immersive Reader helps readers of all ages and abilities to improve their reading and writing skills using proven techniques, customize the text by changing its size, spacing, font, or background theme, and you can also have the text read out aloud, use syllable break to split words and highlight nouns, verbs, and adjectives to aid grammar learning according to Microsoft. So that's Practice in Reading Coach and read with immersive reader that's now been added to click to do and then the next also rolling out for copilot plus pcs is that windows insiders now in the european economic area can now find photos saved in the cloud with improved windows search to the windows search box on the taskbar and this is rolling out across the board so basically you would just use your own words microsoft says to find Photos stored and saved in the cloud by describing what they are about, as in this case, dog on beach. Simple example, in addition to photos stored locally on your Copilot Plus PC, Microsoft says photos from the cloud will now show up in the search results together. And Microsoft says that these features are rolling out gradually to Windows Insiders on Snapdragon powered Copilot Plus PC. So very specific with those first couple of new features. And this next one is actually a feature that was previously a hidden feature, which I posted on. And once again, um, which is quite common for hidden features, has made its way now into official testing, where you can add custom words to the dictionary by add word to vocabulary. Now, Microsoft says it's introducing the ability for you to add your own words to the dictionary in voice access. Add in your own words, it says, including difficult to pronounce words to the dictionary in voice access will help improve dictation accuracy. And Microsoft says that it increases the probability of recognizing these words more accurately by creating a bias that helps voice access become more context aware and proactively understanding your specific vocabulary. Microsoft mentions that the feature will be available in all the currently supported voice access languages so as an example, English, French, German, Spanish, and Chinese. And then if we just head to the next, you can add to vocabulary directly through the settings menu in voice access, according to Microsoft, as seen in the screenshot provided. And something else with voice access is there are now discoverability voice access features. So quite a lot focusing on this accessibility feature, which I'm always in favor of when it comes to operating systems. Microsoft says that voice access will now support an immersive in-product experience to announce new features and improvements. It will help you quickly, they say, discover and learn more about new features in voice access to try out and you can launch or dismiss this new feature from the settings menu. And then sticking with voice access, Microsoft says that it's also including voice access under the accessibility flyout via quick settings in the system tray of the taskbar. I think that's a nice small move in the right direction. I actually use that um, 
accessibility fly out quite a lot. And I think that's a step in the right direction. And then just a couple of changes and improvements to go through that have been rolling out um, to both builds. Now the first one I've posted on previously, but just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. Microsoft is starting to roll out the change. So when you launch File Explorer folders from outside of File Explorer, so as an example, from an app or from the desktop, and by the way, I'll leave the video, I'll post it on this link down below in the end screen, it'll give you a better idea. By default, they will now open in a new tab in File Explorer. If you have an existing File Explorer window open, which is previously not the case, it'll open, if you launch a folder from your desktop, as an example, currently, it will open up in a new window and not a new tab. And I actually think this is a small significant step in the right direction. And Microsoft mentions that if you'd prefer that they continue opening in a new window, you can change this in File Explorer folder options under General Browse Folders. So that would be in those options there. And then just a widget change and improvement according to Microsoft. It says it's trying out improvements to the notification settings page in widgets on Windows 11 by introducing the ability to control the notifications per feed or dashboard. This change is currently rolling out to Windows Insiders in the EEA um, once again. So that is very region specific. And then in regards to Windows security, Microsoft mentions that it's beginning to roll out a change in the Windows security app where it will show more details such as a manufacturer and manuf manufacturer version for Pluton TPM chips. If your PC has one, under device security, security processor details. So that would be under device security, security processor details. That's where you'll see the manufacturer and manufacturer version if you have a Pluton TPM chip um, in your device. And then the last one just to mention for this video, Microsoft says that it's updated the dialog when renaming your printer under settings, Bluetooth and devices, printers and scanners to match the Windows 11 visual. So that's another legacy component now that's looking more like Windows 11 according to Microsoft. And over and above that, we get a good couple of fixes rolling out. And then we get a good couple of known issues for both builds because because obviously these builds are in preview, so known issues are quite common in the Insider program. So that's what's new in the latest Dev and Beta Channel Insider Preview builds, as mentioned, really a copy of each other. So I just popped it into one video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.